Hello, darling friends. I'm back. Now we're here to explore more on data entry, data editing, and autofill. Now, uh, data entry is one of the most basic things we do in Excel. And at times we find it boring, but there are some techniques, no, some shortcuts in the feature that that so-called autofill that we could use and it could really help us as we go along. But before this, we do this in particular, uh, this in this particular worksheet, it's called uh, data entry. Now you see it's an empty sheet. And in the lower right hand corner, there's a slider bar and there's a black rectangle in there. If you hold down the left mouse button, you can zoom in or zoom out. So we're only going to be using about six columns or so here as you build a small worksheet, maybe a little bit less. So that's good enough. I'm going to be putting in some data in cell A2. I can either click on A2, click here, or use the arrow keys to make that cell become the active one. I type sales. Notice it's on the left hand side of the cell. That's what happens automatically no, in Excel unless you're typing values. So I press enter, I could press tab to move to the right. And I can press any of the arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay, um, moving down a column, so I press enter. And then I type in overhead and enter and then profits and then enter. A bit later, I suddenly decide to change overhead to uh, expenses. So I click here and we don't have to erase it. No, I'll just type right over it. So. Now may, okay, let's type in and press enter. Um, okay, now I may have spelled it the wrong way and that's okay, but later we can change it and we, we don't have to re retype the whole thing, although it's pretty short, so we can just press right after the, the letter N and press S, okay? So you can either click on it and go into the formula bar and there put your edit um, or click in the appropriate spot. That's what I just did and make some changes. You can double click near the entry and do the changes there on. Uh, or um, as you please, it's up to you. So what I just did earlier, I double clicked the, the one after N, the space after N and did the type and typed it over um, the characters. Okay, and then enter. I'm going to be putting some numbers now. Okay, okay here. So the number I'm gonna type is 150, one, five, but then I happened to press zero. Um, I thought I pressed zero because O and zero are right next to each other. But what happens is the text becomes um, left aligned. Now numerical entries in Excel when entered are right aligned. But if it's non-numerical, it will be, uh, it's usually left aligned, okay. Okay, let's just do it again. So you see here, if I press the next column, I type 120. It's a value and it's using the correct number. So it's right aligned on this cell as compared to here where it's a mixture of numeric and non-numeric value. So what I do, I press um, to, back to the same cell so what do we do? What we know now is if it's not purely numeric or it's not a formula Excel, it will left the line. 
and then numbers are right aligned. So what we're going to do with here in this cell is to make the necessary corrections. So I type one five zero enter and then it becomes left aligned or rather right aligned. Huh? Okay, so I put some more numbers in here. And maybe press tab or press in this cell. 200 tab, 240 tab, 310 tab, and 450. And press enter. Then move the move the place the active cell using the arrow um, from the keyboards, the left arrows from the keyboard. And then I'm gonna be putting some more numbers in here. Let's see, 80, then 100, then uh, 120, 140, 160, and then 180. Enter. Okay. So I'm going to be putting next uh, the monthly names across the top. Okay. Uh, so I'll type in this cell January and tab over. Now, there's a shortcut that you probably wouldn't know about any any time that you have a month spelled out or a three letter abbreviation, you can point it to the lower right hand corner of that cell. Um, and that's called fill handle. No, notice how the mouse pointer changes if I select right through it. How the mouse pointer changes from this to this as I hover it on this side of the cell and drag it across. Notice those little pop-ups down below. They suggest what's about to happen, no? Okay, you'll get for the other months. And there you have it. So we could drag all the way to, to December and beyond, and it will just start over again. And you can do that in so many different ways. Okay, you can start with any month you want and you can use a three letter abbreviation. Here, if I type in J-U-L and then point to that lower, again, lower right hand corner. Okay, and click and drag. And you probably have guessed already what's about to happen next. And there you have it. Okay, same thing happens rightwards. So if you drag rightward or downward, okay, and there you go. Um, if you drag upward, okay, I'll drag this one upward. So it goes backward in time as well. Same thing happens if we drag leftward. it goes backwards again in time. So you can actually, you can also use letter Q and the number one in a variety of combinations. So you can actually use any of the numbers one through four. So we start with Q, one, because Excel only cycles through those numbers, um, we can use that feature um, to renew the quarter. So for example, this one, there you have it. Or you can also choose to select this values, QTR, and any combination of one, two, three, and four. So one, oh, let's start two, two, there. For example, if you want quarter, and in that same combination of one, two, three, four, how about three? Start with three, and there you have it. Okay, so these are really, really handy techniques, no? And of course, these are often used for column headings and row headings. So these are just some shortcuts with autofill, no? And some just basic thoughts and ideas about how we do data entry and editing here in Excel.